Yo, 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 hey guys, it's Poppin' Jock Slate here. Back with another unboxing, and today, uh, I got my hands on one of the hypest sneakers of the year. Uh, like most of you guys, I struck out at first trying to get my hands on these, but uh, big shout out to the folks over at Titan. Uh, they actually hooked me up with a pair, so big shout out to them. That's how I got my hands on these, so without them, I wouldn't have them either. But let's hop into it, so this shoe, uh, is my favorite of the batch. So there was a high and the low, but this one right here, I think is actually the best of the two. They come in very special packaging. As you see, they have this like plastic sleeve around the actual box. And it's a traditional Jordan box, but it's in white, which is a pretty cool, I like a pretty cool detail. And then the plastic has some like important details on it. It tells you a little bit about the shoe. So it goes on with that storytelling. You have the Nike Air swoosh. You have the Air Jordan swoosh. You have the Fragment design. You have the Cactus Jack logo. You have, I'm sorry, the Cactus Jack words. You have the Cactus Jack logo. Then you have the Fragment design logo. So in a sense, and I know people don't really look at this like this, but this is almost like a four-way collaboration. So you have Nike, obviously, Nike here. You also have Jordan brand. You have, that's where you get the Jordan Wings logo. Then you have Fragment Design. And then you also have Cactus Jack or Travis Scott. So all of that comes together in this box. And you see just a simple white box. I actually like this look of the box. It kind of reminds me of the Military Blue Air Jordan 4. So hold on one second. So if you have these, like this would be the perfect box for this shoe. I don't know if this was intentional or this was just a play on the fragment colors and that's why they did it this way. But when I saw this box, it immediately made me think of the Air Jordan 4. Anyway, so open up inside. We keep with the traditional blue, that same blue, the fragment blue is what it's called, although it reminds me of the military blue. You have the pink cactus jack fragment design paper, similar to what that outside of the box came on. And then you have the shoe and man oh man this is good so this is the air jordan one low collaboration with fragment design travis scott nike and jordan brand i they did a high top version of this shoe as well and if i'm going to be completely honest i wasn't a big fan of the high top the low top definitely struck me more and the weird thing about that is I'm not a Jordan 1 Low fan. I think I have one, maybe two pair of Jordan 1 Lows uh, all together of the, I don't know, eight, 900 pairs of shoes that I have. I have one or two pairs of Jordan 1 Lows and they, they just didn't appeal to me. Same thing with the Nike Dunk. I don't really get dunks unless they have something special or they just really pop out to me. The plain color wigs, like the orange and white, the black and white, that just doesn't appeal to me. And if I'm gonna keep it all the way a buck, I actually prefer the SB Dunk silhouette over the Nike Dunk silhouette. I know that's blasphemy for some folks, but that's just my personal preference. Anyway, so these look absolutely great. And the collaboration is obviously on the small details that put this together. So we obviously have the reverse swoosh, which is pulling from Travis Scott. Then you have the blue that's pulling from Fragment Design. And actually, let's let's bring this all together. So this is Travis Scott Air Jordan 1. Now, uh, I gotta get the other pair. This is the pair that I actually reversed the swoosh. I gotta get the, the other pair. So not, not this one. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. I grabbed the wrong pair there. So this pair has, as you see here, so the reverse swoosh is the Travis Scott sort of thing. He's not the first person to do this with Nike. There's plenty of other people, especially back in the 90s, and I think even back in the 80s, someone reversed the Nike swoosh. So Travis Scott isn't the first person to do that, but obviously in today's world, he's made it popular. So that's where you get that reverse swoosh from. I actually like this treatment a little better than this one just because of the color. The leather feels the same. The leather still feels buttery and nice and like they did high quality there. Uh, but I think I like this color better than I like the black, um, which obviously kind of reflects the color of this midsole, which is that, that vintage already used sort of look that you get there. So that's where that comes from. But when you flip that and put this back, I actually flipped these. So I wanted just to see what it would look like with a regular swoosh. So 
uh, I had a customizer take out the stitching and switch it backwards. Uh, it still got messed up a little bit, but I still like it. I still think it looks cool. And it's the pair that I actually wear. I haven't actually worn the normal or regular pair yet. So I'd rather rock with those. But anyway, on the flip side of that, you have Travis, I mean, uh, you have Fragment Design Shoes from Hiroshi, which is uh, a classic when it comes to Jordan brand colorways. So these I have yet to wear as well. And this is where you get the color blocking from. And you see a lot of it here on the inside. Now the blues aren't exactly the same. So the official color was Sport Royal for this one. But you see here, it's almost like a lighter color of blue on the lows. Well, I shouldn't say almost, it is a lighter color of blue here on the lows than it is on the actual fragment colors fragment ones but what you do get is the same logo so you see you have the logo right there but then you also have it right there on the back of that pair now the rest of the shoe let's kind of put it all together you have the black toe which is similar to the black toe here so that's where you get that from uh you see they didn't use white here at the toe they used a sort of like tannish color so that's where the differences are there where this toe is a pure white and this toe is a little bit like a almost off-white eggshell maybe eggshell and you can also see here now i'm not the biggest like oh it's got to be exactly the same shape but you can see here when you look at the ones how one toe box is bigger than the other you see the one toe box is wider i would say then the toe box on the on the high the yeah the ones is just the lows the lows a little wider than than the toe box is on the uh on the highs. I don't know why that is, if that's just how Jordan Brand puts it together, but it just looks weird on on the lows. But again, I still like this better than I like the Travis Scott high. Now, the other details on here that you guys will appreciate, it comes with a couple of sets of laces. laces. These are like partially waxed. So you have a pink pair, you have a blue pair, and a black pair. I think this pink pair would look really dope and really pop, but obviously that's kind of like Travis Scott's thing. I didn't like that pink to make those pop. And the pink actually pulls, I think, a little bit from the liner of the, the Nike swoosh here. You can't really see it, but right on the edge of the line, the lining of the Nike swoosh, it has a little bit of a pink hue to it from the leather. You have the nylon tongue that has that same sort of worn in vintage sort of look. As far as the tongues go, on the left, you have the Fragment logo, but on the right, you have the Cactus Jack logo. And you have that on these as well. They kept the Cactus Jack logo there on the left side, but for the lows, they switched it over to the right side. So, oh, no, actually, I'm sorry, they did not. So the left shoe has it on the left side, and then the right shoe, let me confirm, has it on the right side. So maybe that's a way you can tell whether your pair is authentic or not, whether the, uh, the tags are in the correct place. I hope they would get something like that right, but you never know. Anyway, um, other details, again, they have the Fragment logo on one, but then they have the Cactus Jack logo on the other. And then they have Cactus Jack written out here. And then they have the Air Jordan with the Wings logo there on the heel of that shoe. The outsoles are pretty much the same. And again, the color difference, you can see the differences in the color. One is like a dark blue and the other one is more of a light blue, which is happening on the lows versus the color that's happening on the highs. And maybe a part of that reason is because they want this to look more aged and vintage as opposed to this pair, which is supposed to look like brand new. This pair has like that aged aesthetic to it, which you see on the toe box and you see on the midsole. And maybe that's where this blue is supposed to be like a faded version of this hyper sport royal blue that you see here on the outsole. Uh, other than that, uh, the, the pair looks great. I think it's a very, very beautiful shoe. I love what they did when they put these two together. Um, at, so, at some point, you do want them to push the envelope a little bit, but we'll see where that goes and where that leads us. And I would say for the final detail, you see they have information about the shoe, the size, the tooling that has uh, Travis, it has Hiroshi, it has a code here that I don't know what that code means if I'm gonna keep a buck with you guys, but it is fall 21, which is now when the shoes came out. Let me see if that's anywhere else on the box. 
I believe it's on the box here somewhere as well, but I don't see, yeah, actually, yeah. Here in the top corner, it's like the size of the box, which is the sleeve size of the box. And I don't, these numbers, oh, these aren't the same. So it's not the same numbers. I thought they were the same numbers, but they're not. Anyway, so yeah, just wanted to give you guys a quick look at the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 low collaboration with Fragment Design. Fragment's obviously doing a lot of stuff. He has a couple of dunks that are coming out in the next couple of weeks as well. So he's definitely putting the work in when it comes to his collaborations with Nike. These are definitely on the hype scale. Um, this is not why I got them. I like them just because I like the way they look. And again, big shout out to the folks at Titan for hooking that up. But if it's something that you like, uh, definitely look into them. They have them over at eBay. They have a ton of them listed right now. So if you want to grab yourself a pair, uh, why don't you go ahead and put it in a bit. Anyway, uh, as always, I'm Jacques Slade. Thank you guys for watching. And let me know, what do you like better? The Fragment Ones, the collaboration between Travis and Hiroshi, aka Fragment on the One Low, or let me get the proper, the proper ones out here. Do you like what Travis did with his Air Jordan 1 better? So which one of these do you like? Left, right, or the one in the middle? Let me know down in the comments below. As always, guys, I appreciate you. I'm Jacques Slade. Make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe, and all of that good stuff, and I'll see you soon. Peace.